Right, so trainer is active in four minutes time. I've already started raiding ourselves over here to start shipping resources over. And in the past couple of days, we have managed to save up almost six million of each resource. So just raiding ourselves now. Going to get all of that to 03 and bump up the queues as much as possible. So I'll probably show you in a bit once we've started training. Right, so it's been... um three hours since we've had the artifact and we've got on 154 hours in the barracks 153 in the stable and 165 in the workshop and we've still got about a million of each resource to use up so we're just using our troops to raid these because these are quite far away so we're keeping our merchants out raiding there and as soon as we get that done we'll just get bump the queues up a bit more then the trainer will be moved on and then hopefully we'll get it in the next cycle um so that's going quite nicely. Uh, I'll do a quick update now, just because I'll probably not do one for another couple of days. It's 113. Um, three per day in resources, five so far. Hopefully we might jump up when we start level 20s this week. Uh, military strength rank four and three in the alliance. Hopefully this will jump up with the queue on the trainers and culture points where eight and eight. Uh, the troop count so far is uh, 25,000 Imperians, uh, 13,000 ECs and 4,700 Catapults, so that will grow quite nicely. Um, parties we're still doing, we just haven't done them in these villages at the moment, we'll wait until we finish with the trainers and get that going. So yeah, that's um, it for now, and I'll uh, see you in the next update. Hi guys, and welcome back to another quick update, I'm just going to make this a short one, it's currently day 116, if we go through rank 12 in population. Source per day jumped up to rank 3 and 5 so far. Military strength still rank 4. And culture points 9 per day it's so far. So um, updated farm lists. So if I just jump on them quickly. Um, I've spent a lot of time the other day making nice big farm lists. We have almost all of our troops out now when we're um, raiding. So if I go to the uh, top 10, we've bumped up and we've raided about 2 million over 24 hours so hopefully it's Sunday today next week we'll be on the top 10 it'd be nice to get some um, raiding ribbons if we go to the troop overview we're at 28,000 Imperians 15,000 ECs uh, 5,152 catapults we got 99 EIs from an adventure if you look we've still got 145 hours or so in each of these so it's another six days till we need to get the trainer again and because of the raiding we're able to run the great barracks and the great stable consistently now without pushing any resources into there and if I jump over to the capital quickly we've got two level 20s now bringing us up to 161,000 crop an hour which is amazing we're hopefully going to get another two of these and then we're going to start filling all of our feeders with resources again ready for the next trainer rotation and if you look we've started to get another warehouse in and we're probably going to destroy the stable and get another warehouse. So then we'll have six warehouses or so. Yes, no, seven warehouses, sorry, and two granaries hopefully in each. And then we'll just keep stacking them up and then getting the queues even bigger. Next time we get the trainers, we're hoping to to do maybe a little bit of greats training on the trainers. But we're not sure. The main thing is to get keep the catters going. We can't have this not on the trainers for the rest of the server now. So uh, that's it, I'll probably make another uh, update in the next couple of days. Hi guys and welcome back to another quick update. Currently it's day 119. Go down with 13th in population, 3 in resources per day and 3 so far now. Uh, offence strength, we're still rank 4 but we might be pushing up soon. I know we're very close to um, number 3 and 2 and then culture points we're 9 and 9. And then if we go over to the top 10 here, our raiding's gone really well. Currently ninth, we've been fighting between eighth and ninth the um whole week so far. We've only just been overtaken a couple of minutes ago. We were rank eight, so hopefully we'll be able to grab rank eight and stay here by the end of the week. Um we had a op go against our alliance the other day, so I've just got some of the uh, reports of the hammers that crashed on us. So we've got this, quite a nice Teuton hammer. Um if we go along, quite a nice ghoul hammer as well. As you can see we had a lot of defence, they did no damage at all. There was um cat Catapult waves there as well. Uh, sorry, I had to stop recording for a sec. So we had this one here. It did no damage as well, which was quite nice. 
Um, this hammer as well, another nice Teuton hammer, did no damage at all, probably needed a few more TKs, and then um, crashed all their catapults as well, and then we had this Roman hammer hit, once again no damage, and then this last one, this hammer hit, Earthwall not damaged again, took one level off the, te off the treasury, and then crashed a load of waves as well. Uh, so if I go over to our troops now, we're uh, uh, 31,500 Imperians, uh, almost 17,000 ECs and 5,600 Catapults. We still have 70 hour queues in with the great, uh, with the unique trainer on. And then in the great barracks, we've got 18 hours. And if we go to the great stable as well, we've got eight hours and we managed to keep both of them going. Um, we're getting the trainers again in about two days. So we're starting to stack up on resources again. So at the moment we're down to about almost 3 million of each and we're just going to keep stacking them up for the next two days with every NPC. Let's so go into the capital quickly. Um, you can see we've got four level 20s. We're going to fill this up ready for the trainers and then every NPC we're just going to start sending them across. Same with this village here because we've got weak guy into it. As you can see, say like four, it's already starting to stack up here. Uh, we've got another couple of villages we're just simming up. We've got a nine cropper here, which we're going to get all these to ten soon and get 100% oasis. And then we've settled our first world wonder support villa. So, as you can see around here, around our world wonder, we've got all of the alliance have just started setting. We could, we need to do one or two villages here, just have high warehouse and granary to keep resources there and NPC. Uh, that's the update for now. I'll probably do the next one once we get the trainers.